Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Andy Cine Universal Vlogger Kit. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. Okay, so it comes with a manual here for the microphone, comes with a manual for the light, and this is the manual for everything, I think. So basic overview, this has a small collapsible tripod that you can also use as a handle. It has a ball head on it, has a phone mount, it has a light that has RGB on it, and a microphone. So this is sort of like an all-in-one kit. So modern smartphones are pretty impressive at what you can do, but there are some deficiencies, like you have to hold them up, they don't have great lights on them, and the microphones aren't great. So a product like this fills in those gaps. So if we look in the instructions here, this talks about the microphone. It does need a 3.5 millimeter headphone socket. So if you have a newer phone that does not have a headphone port on it, you could use an adapter. So I use a lightning headphone adapter on my phone. So that will work with this. So it says features, complete mobile filmmaking kit, directional sound pickup to reduce background noise. R2 LED light offers two hours of operation on a single charge. Two position tripod for handle or static use. Gimbal tripod ball head for accurate camera positioning. Phone clip with patent design for phones 56 millimeter to 86 millimeters wide. Comes with a microphone, shock mount, windshield, windscreen, 3.5 millimeter cable for phone, 3.5 millimeter cable for camera, PC1 phone clip, T2 tripod, R2 LED light, and USB-C cable. Here's the microphone. It says all metal body, no battery required, shock mount included, deluxe furry windshield and windscreen included. And here you can see the pattern here and the specs for this. Here's the phone clip ball head. It says one press open the phone clip. Has the specs here. Here we have the ball head. It says by loosening the knob, the ball can be rotated 360 degrees. Specs for that. And here's the tripod. It says press the button to change the opening angle of the tripod. And here we have the RGB light. So this has lots of features on it. There's a quarter 20 screw hole at the bottom. It also has cold shoe mount. It also has cold shoe bases on three sides. It has a display screen, USB-C charge port, color temperature adjust wheel, brightness adjust wheel, power setting. Looks like it has a magnet too. And here are the specs on the light. So the color rendering index is 95 plus. So that's going to give you good color representation. Battery capacity is 2000 milliamp hours. So on the strongest brightness, you're going to get two hours. Weakest brightness, you're going to get greater than 15 hours. So then we have this little panel here on the light. Looks like it has a lot of the same things as the manual. Oh, and it has effects modes too so you can see those here and here's the manual for the microphone It says using the microphone with a smartphone, tablet, or Mac. Plug the 3.5 millimeter TRRS connector into the audio jack of your smartphone, tablet, or Mac. Open the audio only or video recording app and begin recording. Okay, so let's get these parts out of here. Let's start with the tripod. So these legs open up here has rubber on the bottom. So if we set that down, that's gonna give you a little grip. Now this is the standard opening mode, but if we press in on the bottom here, where it says push, we can put those out further. So that would make it more stable. So that's a very nice feature. And then these will collapse back in closed, and then you go back to the default there. So it looks like it has a little loop on here so you can put a tether on it. Next, we have the ball head. So there's a quarter 20 thread here. We'll thread that into the tripod. There's also a quarter 20 thread here. So we'll loosen this up and then this should adjust. So you can have that at a right angle or you can have it straight up and down and you can tilt it so you can get it level. Once we get it straight, we'll tighten it down like so. Next, we'll install the phone mount. So this has the quarter 20 thread. So you can mount this on the ball head or you can mount it directly to the tripod. And all of these things are standard equipment. So you could put this on a large tripod too, or a different shoe mount. So if you have a DSLR camera, you can put this on the shoe mount and have your camera above it. And then you can mount an accessory on top of this. So to get your phone in here, you press this on the side that will expand it. We'll take our phone, stick it in there and we'll squeeze it down on here like so. So that's very sturdy. You can see that's not going anywhere. And then press this to release it. So I really like that mechanism for holding this. This also has a quarter 20 thread on the back. I like that this gives you tons of options. So we'll thread this in here. Now, if you need to, this will rotate and clamp up against the camera. So I'll probably tighten this all the way down, but you can use that like a jam nut. So the next accessory, put on the light. Now, if you don't need light, you could mount the microphone right here, but let's do the light. So this has a quarter 20 thread on it. So if you're using some other camera system and you only need the light, you could just mount that on the ball head or the tripod itself and use it on its own. But we'll put this in here and we'll tighten this nut down till it's tight like so. And we have the windscreen here, and here's the microphone mount. So there are many options for mounting this. I'll loosen this up here. I'll put this in the shoe on the light, and I'll tighten this down. Of course, this can go on any of the sides of this. And here we have the microphone, so I'll clip that in. So this has a shock mount, and actually I'll put the microphone in and then put it on. Here it is without the foam on it. There we go. 
and here we have the cables. So this one is to hook it up to a camera. This one is to connect it up to a phone. So there's a sticker on here, but if your sticker's missing, it's the end with more conductors that goes into the phone. So this has three. This one will plug into the back of the microphone. This one will plug into the phone. Like so. So you can take this off and put this on there. This also comes with USB Type-C charging cable to charge the light. So this is a pretty sleek setup. You could have this on your desk and vlog to it. The way I'll probably use this most is actually turn the camera around so it's pointing forward and have the microphone still pointed back at me so I can point this at things and talk. And you can hold it like this. So that's very nice. Now if I do like handheld recording like this, I'll probably take this piece out of here because I can just angle it to whatever angle I like. So this is super configurable. I like that. So let's just play around this light a little bit. So I do want to cover charging this here. So I have the USB-C cable so plug it into a USB charger it's USB type A here plug in here it has a charge indicator on the screen here and we're charging at 1.31 amps so that's a nice charge rate so as this fills up that charge rate may go down I'll actually take the microphone off of here I'll take the light off so I can handle it a little easier let's turn this on so I press the button to turn it on here we see 9000 K is the light so this little thing on the side it's not really a knob it's more of a switch let's see if I can get in on that so I can press that up and it kind of clicks back and you can see it changes that color temperature. If I hold it down, it'll go fast. Now you can see it's at 2500 K. So it's kind of hard to see color temperature because my camera may be adjusting it, but there we go. And now we have that 9,000. Here we have dimness, same thing here. When I go down, it's 100%. When I go up, it's dimming it. So this is pretty impressive. We can go to all the way down to zero. So can we do 1%? Yeah, so we can go from zero to 100% in one degree increments. So that's very nice. So I'm going to take the color temperature down. Let's see, I have it 6,000 right there. I like that, I think. So we'll press power again. That's going to turn on the RGB mode. So now let's change the color temperature here. That's going to change the color of the light. So you can see a scale on the bottom from zero to 360. So we can up this to 360. It looks like it's gonna be a red color I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so we're at 360 there. Want to go to yellow, we could turn it to say 30. There we go. And then we have the brightness over here. So we can change that. And then we have the effect mode. I'll press that again. So this is the pulsing mode. Let's do cop car. So we have cop car, ambulance, fire alarm. So as you can see, this is a super versatile light. If I press it again, I'll go back to my normal white mode. So I'll put that on my camera, put my microphone back on, and now I'm ready to vlog. So this is an old camera here. I'm actually using the camera I will test with right now. So I'm going to switch that over to this, and then I'll do some tests with it. Okay, so this is a test from the front. So I can turn the light off. I'll hold it down. It will turn it off. So this is with no light. This is with the light on. And then you can also hear the microphone. I have it hooked up. So let me try this with the lights off completely. So here it is with the lights off completely. As you can see, there's lots of light here. This is on 100%. I could obviously turn this down. Now I'm not used to vlogging, so I'm looking at the screen and not the camera. This would be me looking at the camera. So if I vlog more, I'll do this. But let me show you how I will typically use this. Okay, so now I have it in a different configuration. I have the microphone facing me. I'm recording with the main camera on my phone. And I forgot to mention I'm using an iPhone 13 mini. So if I was doing a bicycle repair video, I might be doing a shot like this. And this is not a bad shot, but I can turn this light on. And there we have a little bit more light. So if I was really wanting to get in here with some detail, that light's gonna do the trick. Let me show that again without the light. Here it is without the light. So if I wanted to show you how dirty this gear was, you can't really see it with the light off. Here with the light on, you can see that better. So that's the Andy Cine Universal Vlogger Kit. I have to say I'm very impressed with this. You can take a modern smartphone and this here and produce all sorts of content. You can do vlogging content, you can do how-to content. This gives you everything you need to take your videos to the next level. And I'm not just saying that, I will be using this regularly. I have a setup I use at my bench, but a lot of times I like to get away from my bench. So this is going to be one of my go-to rigs for doing that. I see many videos online where the audio and the lighting is not the best and i know equipment can be expensive this is a very affordable way to up your game with your lighting and your microphone it really doesn't take a lot of expensive equipment to get to that next level so if you're looking for a way to up your smartphone video recording game i think this is a great option so that's all i'm going to cover in this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you like this video please click like if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'd appreciate if you could do that and thanks for watching until next time goodbye